In just a few moments, we'll begin tonight's adoration, and we'll begin with number 357, 357. We'll begin now with number 357.
Lord Jesus Christ, in this hour of adoration, to end the Christmas season, we gather here to worship you, to give you thanks, to pray, and to honor you through prayer, song, and meditation. We gather here in the first days of the new year and at the end of the season in the spirit of thanksgiving for the blessings received for your presence among us in the Holy Eucharist, for your love in which we decide to come and dwell among us. May this adoration bring peace, blessing, and renewal in our hearts, our families, our school, and our parish in this new year. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by the water of the Holy Spirit, you freed us from sin and gave us new life. Loving and gracious God, our lives are often pushed and pulled by hundreds of activities. In the busy pace of life, we, we realize our need to be in touch with the deeper meaning of life. Send your Holy Spirit upon us to be our helper and guide as we embark on a renewal journey within our parish. Guide us as we put into practice the work of unleashing the gospel. Gift us with a spirit of openness and generosity as we walk with each other as companions on this journey seeking ways to bring the good news to all. Make us aware of our many opportunities and responsibilities to be witnesses of your love, your mercy, and be called to a new life. May we all grow in faith through prayer, the gospel, and the Eucharist. Help us to be people of courage, faith, and holiness. Keep us mindful of our heritage. Help us to recognize you as you reveal yourself to us, to hear you as you speak to us in the events of our daily lives, in Eucharist and prayer and in each other. You are inviting us and calling us. Let us respond with eagerness and joy. Through the intercessions of our Blessed Mother, may we become faithful and joyful missionary disciples of your Son, Jesus. May the prayer of St. Michael and St. Clair keep us safe, protect us from all harm, and strengthen us in our commitment to God and his church. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem 
because he was of the house and family of David to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to have her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, in this little town you were born. Your mother gave you what she could, love and care. My heart is little and sometimes cold and busy and messy and crowded. Help me to make room for you every day to be present there, to be loved there, and to be cared for. Oh, Mother Mary, teach me to trust the word of your son. Teach me the humility of heart. Number 359. <laughs> Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in the dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. For Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. While mortals sleep, the angels keep the watch of wandering love. O morning stars together proclaim the holy birth. And praises sing to God the King, and peace to all on earth. How silently, how silently, the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Lord enters in. out our sin and enter in, be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. Oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel.
when the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. And so they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. And when they saw this, they made known the message that had been told to them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told to them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on, on them in her heart. And then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, the angels brought the good news to the shepherds the first who came to pay homage and spread the good news. This Christmas, once again, you reminded me that I must be the messenger of good news to others. Strengthen my heart that I will not be afraid to live out my faith. Help our parish to be bold in proclaiming you as our Savior. Guide us on our effort to bring Christ to people and people to Christ. Number 316. <laughs>
Now there were shepherds in the region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, do not be afraid for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will bring be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly hosts with the angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to those on whom his favor rests. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, in the busy pace of life, for keeping watch over our homes, our children, and families, and employment, many other things can bring us down or fill our hearts filled with fear and worries. Strengthen our trust and faith that all we do, who we are, will be for your glory. Help us, Lord, to see the Eucharist in the moments of your presence. May they help us to perse in perseverance in the quest for you to be holy and faithful followers of yours. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Number 361.
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him, nothing came to be. What came to be through Him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he, came, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the world and the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory of as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you came to dwell among us in the word that comes to us from the scriptures, in the bread that becomes your body when we gather to celebrate the Eucharist, in the presence of our family members that gather around the table at our kitchens, in the joyful and sorrowful moments of our lives. Lord, give us a new vision that will enable us to recognize your presence in our midst.
as I read the fifth text, your response will be, today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Try that together, please. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, blessed be his name. Together? Today, Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Together? Today, Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exalt together today is born our savior christ the lord they shall exalt you before the lord for he comes for he comes to rule the earth he shall rule the world with justice and the people with his consistency today is born our savior christ the lord let us pray Lord Jesus, as we conclude the holy season of Christmas, we pray that the message of peace, love, and joy may take root in our lives. We pray for all those who give us gifts, send us cards, and phone us with best wishes. As well, let us pray for all those to whom we give gifts and we send cards, phone them and express our Christmas and New Year wishes. May all of us cherish them and rejoice in the glory you have shown. May the blessing of the season remain with us individually and collectively in this new year. 379. 
number 132. have given them bread from heaven, alleluia, having within it all sweetness, alleluia. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please turn to page 133 and join with me in saying the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. And blessed be Saint Joseph and her most chaste spouse. And blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. Three fifty three will be our closing song. We'll sing verses one, two, and four.
Well, I was going to say, let's get David and Patty a great hand. So let's do it again, okay? <laughs> and on behalf of Father Andrew, David, Patty, and myself, I'd like to thank you all for being here this evening. This is the first time I did this, so I kind of rushed it. Next year, I'll be a little slower. Uh, but again, I'd like to thank you and have a very, very safe evening. Be careful and make sure you stay warm because it's cold outside. May God bless you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sweet Jesus, I love to hear you say that.